Alright, so here's one of the silicone molds, and the first knife handle I'm going to try is with Lego bricks. I've always wanted to try this. So I've got this piece pre-made here, and that fits right in the mold. See on the bottom I've got a few bricks to space it off the bottom. This is just so resin could flow underneath really well. Alright, so there's the resin over there. And I've got a helper today. So I'm going to let him do his thing. Grab some part B. Yeah. see how he's scraping the sides and he's going to scrape the bottom too That's looking pretty good, hey? Yep, I think so. All right, so we're going for the pour. Anytime you're ready, bud. Stop there. I'm gonna open all my fingers. Got it. Good job, buddy. That was a really good pour. Thank you.
So now we're going to let this sit about 12 hours and I'll check on this tomorrow morning. Oh wow. Let me pull that out of there. That turned out great. That corner lifted a little bit, but that's minor. I doubt you'll even notice that when this gets cut apart and turned into handles. So it's been about a week or two weeks. I don't know. It's felt like an eternity anyway. I ordered some wood burl off Etsy two or three weeks ago, whatever, and it's not here yet, which sucks because that's kind of going to be like the finale to this video. And I need it so I can make this video and edit it and upload it. And I can't do that, so we're going to do another resin pour. So I've got this temperature gun. I saw Jake Thompson use something similar to this in his videos, and it seemed to make a lot of sense for the like mixing of the colors. So you guys are going to see how I use that. Thank you, Jake. Great idea. So I'm going to mix two separate colors in these cups here, and then I'm going to have a third color in this cup here, which is going to basically I'm just going to use as like a swirl pattern in the molds once the two main colors are mixed together. Sorry for the sound of the air compressor in the background. That's I'm going to have to fill this pressure pot pretty soon. So, I've got a bunch of colors to pick from here. I don't know what to do. I honestly haven't thought about this at all yet. Look at this color they sent, toilet brown. My son thinks this is hilarious. I think I'm going to use this, actually. Toilet brown. brown and green I don't know it's hard to imagine what it's going to look like in resin this dark scarlet looks really cool I think we'll try that like our swirls that we're going to do Let's just try plain old white for that. I bet you that'll look good. Put a little extra on our swirls so they'll be the color will be a little thicker in this one. The battery died. Hopefully we didn't miss much. Just some mixing. Fahrenheit I got about 78 to 80 Fahrenheit on these and if I remember correctly from Jake Thompson's video I think I want at least 120 Fahrenheit maybe 130 okay so we're back I had a little spill Whatever, I'm not even going to clean that. I'm just going to let it cure, and that'll peel right off. But anyway, we're sitting over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 106, 108. 
This one seems to be not heating up as quick. 102. So this larger one seems to be gaining heat the fastest, and then this one's behind it, and then this one's gaining heat the slowest. So what that tells me is I should have mixed this all as maybe just one batch and let it all get up to temperature at the same time and then pour it into separate containers. The only issue is I don't have silicone containers twice this size, and I really like using these silicone containers. Uh, I think two equal sized batches would have been good enough. They should have got the heat at the same time, and then I can have poured I could have poured this last little guy. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna try to remember that for next time. Okay, we're sitting at 140 for this one. 133 for this one. 110. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Is that about half? I don't know. I'll try something similar in here. this one this way. This one's obviously mixed up a lot more, but let's see what happens. We're going to let the air in slowly because I don't want that rush of air to mess up my mold. That one sitting up top is not, not very far from where this air inlet is. So we'll do it nice and slow. So I'll check on this tomorrow morning then. Alright, check out how this turned out. Oh, I guess I should uh, let the air out first. <laughs> Fuck. That would have been bad. Loud noises! Here they are. Got some color separation again. As you can see, that white did not mix in very well at all. And I'm starting to think it's that temperature difference that we saw between the three cups that we did this pour with. So I'm going to do one more resin pour, and then we're going to call it for this video. My wood burl's still not in, and it's been a couple weeks since my last upload, so I just want to get another video up. And we'll do something else with the wood burl handle in a future video. I'm going to do a single pour, just one mold two colors. I'm going to pour all the resin into one container, let it get up to temperature, and once it's at about 130 Fahrenheit, maybe 120, I'm going to pour half of it to the other container, quickly mix in my colors, and then do the pour.
start with five drops. I'm doing blue and white, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Try a little bit different pouring technique this time too. So I'm going to pour just enough of each to fill the bottom. And then, I don't know, just do whatever. Hey, do I mix it? Do I not mix it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Everyone I've done so far, I've mixed. I've had a, like a couple turn out really good. A lot of them not turn out good at all. I haven't tried one not mixing it, so that's what we're going to do. So here it is. This one actually turned out pretty good. Probably would have looked a lot different if I would have mixed it up with the stick after I poured it. I'm glad I didn't. This uh, liquid resin, it's got a lot more clear look to it. So now I'm going to line up all the resin handles that I've made. I'm going to include handles not made in this video. Just to give you an idea of the progression so far. And I'm going to go clean these two up on the grinder and get rid of that white die that's float to the top. So here they are after a little bit of sanding. I did a really quick and dirty sanding and polishing. You can see, still see scratch marks all over these. So I'll get these in the lineup and we're going to have a look at all of them. Those of you that follow me on Instagram, you might be thinking, wait a minute, what do you mean there's no wood burl? You just posted a picture of a wood burl handle on your new knife. Yes, that's true. I ordered another single piece of maple burl because I was getting impatient from waiting for my first order, but that single piece was already stabilized, and the stuff I first ordered is pieces of raw wood burl which I intended to stabilize myself on video. No promises on what the next video will be, I have lots of new knife handles to use and lots of ideas for even more knife handles. In the meantime, here's an idea of what you can look forward to seeing in future videos.